A common issue in all simulation tools is trying to determine how to obtain a necessary level of realism without having to do an unnecessary amount of modeling or calculation. One specific example of this in fluid simulation software is how to deal with semi-permeable materials such as this cone filter in an aftermarket performance intake. Luckily, SolidWorks Flow Simulation, the fully integrated CFD tool inside SolidWorks, can handle these situations using what's called the porous media capability. Let's take a look at how this is utilized. By turning on the SolidWorks Flow Simulation add-in inside SolidWorks, full access of the SolidWorks Flow Simulation project tree will become available, including all setup conditions and results. In this particular example, the boundary conditions are relatively simple, consisting of an outlet mass flow rate, which could be known from the parameters of the engine displacement. Additionally, we're assuming static pressure consistent with standard atmospheric temperature and pressure. The porous medium definition is the key to this problem. And looking at the property manager, we can see that SolidWorks flow simulation includes a number of default materials, as well as the ability to define a user-specific porous media as well. Looking inside the SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation Engineering Database, we can see that the few default materials here consist of isotropic or unidirectional porous media, which regulate the direction in which the fluid, whether it be air, water, or other liquids or gases, could move through the permeable membrane. Looking at the new user-defined material that's being created here, we can see that there are different options for calculating the resistance of that material, such as a dependency on velocity or dependency on a reference pore size, which for example could be used in a wind tunnel environment where the intake consisted of small straw inlets of a certain diameter. One of the more common resistance calculation formulas is pressure drop, flow rate, and dimensions which allows the user to input a pressure drop measured for a known flow rate and various dimensions, which could be attained from a physical experiment. The permeability is then calculated and can be applied to other types of geometry inside SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. In this example, we'll use the predefined isotropic porous medium, which will allow the airflow to permeate in all directions through the cone filter. Taking a look at the results in this example, we can view a cut plot and see clearly that the fluid is in fact passing through the porous medium. That's because SOLIDWORKS flow simulation will treat that component as part of the fluid region, although it will restrict the movement of the fluid through that material, in this case somewhat affecting the velocity profiles. We can also see through plots like surface plots or flow trajectories, the effect that it has on things like pressure drop down the system, and also recirculation or vortices that might be apparent inside the fluid domain. Another common practice is to create the necessary goals to evaluate the performance of the porous medium. In this case, things like the average turbulent intensity in the system, and the static pressures and velocities at the inlet. We can also run the same simulation without the porous media present to see the difference that it makes. In this example, removing the filter allows us to run the study with the same input and boundary conditions. However, we'll notice a slight difference in things like the cut plots. In this example, we can see that the velocities are somewhat increased without the presence of the porous medium. However, it also happens to have a negative effect on the smoothness of the velocity profiles at the inlet. Examining the goal plots, we can use the new SOLIDWORKS flow simulation compare tool to contrast the results of both studies and see what effect the porous medium has. In this example, it becomes apparent that removing the cone filter would in fact increase inlet velocity as expected. However, it also has a negative effect on the average turbulent intensity inside the intake. In summary, the porous medium functionality inside SOLIDWORKS flow simulation 
allows the simulation of complex problems without having to model detailed geometry or an unnecessarily complex computation time.